Some great writers and poets, Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, Dante, for instance, have profound things to say about God and religion. Do you enjoy reading literature? Have any great novels or poems influenced you? Um, I don't read much literature now because um, uh, I find it rather difficult to, to read literature um, of a long prose kind after reading philosophy books all day. Uh, I want to change from reading. But um, in the past, I have read a certain amount of uh, non-philosophical literature, and certainly I have been influenced by some poems. Um, <coughs> I was influenced by some of the poems of G.K. Uh, Chesterton and some of T.S. Eliot. And, um, uh, T. S. Eliot's Murder in the Cathedral, I found a, uh, when I was 17 or 18, a pr profoundly inspiring uh, uh, religious work. And likewise, some of Chesterton's poems, um, uh, he's not very well known as a poet, but some of them do contain some deep thoughts. Um, uh, there's one called The Gentleman. Now, you know that uh, in, in England it used to be said uh, that the, <laughs> the devil is a gentleman. That is to say, he uh, behaves politely. Um, and uh, the poem starts, The devil is a gentleman and invites you down to stay at his little place at what's its name. It's for, it's for the rich and clever. And it goes on describing what a wonderful place that is. And, um, and it then continues, there's a game of April Fool. Um, uh, that's, there's, there's a game of April Fool that's played, but the April, but the fool remains forever and the April comes no more. And then it goes on to say that people who go in for uh, just enjoyable sports and games and so on and have no purpose in life. Mm -hmm. I found murder in the cathedral um, uh, very powerful because uh, it, it emphasized the importance. It's about Beckett's, uh, m the Archbishop of Canterbury's murder by the uh, agents of the king uh, who, who uh, objected to uh, Beckett because Beckett uh, proclaimed truth, and truth especially uh, about the king's behavior. And it emphasized how important it is that one should stand for the truth uh, rather than uh, simply do what the king asked. Um, and uh, Chesterton's poem, not only this poem, but certainly the poem entitled The Gentleman, and uh, uh, describes the the devil as uh, polite, uh, a gentleman, and um, uh, he invites you down to stay at his little place at what's its name. Uh, it doesn't name the place, but of course we know what the place referred to is, in other words, hell, and uh, how uh, it's a in a sense fairly enjoyable place, but there's no purpose and no meaning there. And uh, it ends with the advice, go and live a hard life and have, have some meaning to it. <laughs>